I am in Langley, Virginia at a NASA facility to take a rare insider's look at the Puffin, an electric aircraft prototype designed to make personal flight as simple and intuitive as it can be. At its heart, safety features that take this craft to a whole new level. What we see on the big monitors here, Dean, is essentially the, the view of the outside world. In this case here, we're actually flying over Louisville, Kentucky. Ken Goodrich is the man responsible for the Puffin's flight control system. Try the, um, the control stick. In an extraordinary advance for aviation, Ken has equipped the control stick with haptic tactors that provide physical feedback. These sticks they have torque motors inside that are talking with computers, and they're actually what are generating all the forces that you're feeling. So I can push forward and I'm gonna pitch down, but if it thinks I'm pitching down too much, it's gonna pitch me back and push me back. It won't let you enter an unsafe condition. But is the software good enough to prevent even a pilot in distress from crashing? In a worst case scenario, I decide to find out. Cayman 345 is cleared to E-Park. And I'm rolling into that, that final heading. I pretend to lose consciousness. And it just pushed me back in my seat, and it pushed my stick back, and it leveled me off, holding me above the minimum safe altitude. And it looks like it's put me back in a holding pattern, maybe till I wake up. <laughs> the Puffin's electric propulsion and haptic tactors are just two reasons why this bird may be pointing the way to the future of flight. And if Mark has his way, within the next 10 years, we'll see the first Puffins flying. And within 30 years, There'll be a mass-produced transportation alternative that he hopes will be no more expensive than a luxury automobile. I know what it feels like when you struggle with a problem for years and suddenly you get a new insight and you know it's gonna work. What was it like when you realized that a haptic system, the advanced navigation system, and electric propulsion might make this dream a reality? A spur of creativity. All of a sudden, we realized that vehicles like the Puffin could make sense. Instead of being stuck on the ground in cars, we're stuck in airlines, we're gonna have a new degree of freedom, a new degree of choice on how we travel and how we get around. It's gonna completely change society.